Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you how to clean out the cartridge filters in a JD filter system uh, pool pump. So I'm going to show you how to do that and uh, so you can do it on your own. I think a lot of pool companies, obviously pool companies will do it for you. Uh, if you hire someone then they're doing their work for you. But it's really, really easy to do if you just follow these steps. So first is first, make sure you turn your pump off. So the last thing you want is your pump running because this thing will gush water. So I can go into my handheld and I'm just literally going to just turn my pump off. And you can hear the pump going off behind me. So now that's off and I can put this aside. Second step is you are going to twist this back piece here. So what you're doing is you're taking the pressure out of the system because this thing is a pressurized filtering system that's completely filled. So this air is coming out of there. So you're going to leave that wide open until you hear the air stop flowing through here. The other thing we clean at the same time is cleaning the cartridges is we pull this out and clean this. So it's really, this has already got an open and close on it. So we do that. And once we do that, you open and close it. You're going to get some water out of here because obviously that thing's draining as well, but it doesn't matter. We're going to take that out, get all that nastiness out of there. So our entire filter is really clean. You want to be very careful with letting air out of this because it is a pressurized system. So if you don't let the air out of this by turning this knob, if you don't let the air out of this, it could, you could really damage yourself. It could pop off. It could hit you. It's pressurized. So it's like opening a soda can, but the soda can being the size of a keg. So you don't want to do that. So once it's done, you can hear the air is stopped for us, right? So you can turn this closed. I always do it now because otherwise I forget when I turn it back up, but I always double check it as well once it's, once it's on. Then you're gonna need a 916 ratchet. So you go back here, you'll see that this is on. Um, it's basically the entire ring around the system, right? So you're gonna wanna loosen that, which loosens pretty easy. So you're gonna have to loosen it far enough that you can get the bolt on the outside of this. So hold on go okay keep loosening until you get to the the bottom of this copper to the outside and now you can just turn it and the bolt actually comes all the way out if it does it's no big deal it's just one of those that kind of fits in there and, and snugs tight so that's it then if you pull open this ring it's actually hinged so you can get one side and then you can pop the other there we go. Pop the other side and then pull this off, set it aside. So you might get wet. Then you're going to loosen and pull this whole top off. And it, like I said, you're going to get, you're probably going to get wet a little bit. It's stuck right now. go and I got wet okay two things to be careful of here one put the slit somewhere where you're not gonna hit it that's one step one two you want to be very careful of this it's your sensor and you can see how dirty and nasty ours is right so we're gonna be very careful of that but this whole piece this black piece comes off and you can see these are your cartridges right here okay so this takes a little bit of wiggling sometimes to get this worked loose because you know you get sand in your system and things like that. So you wiggle a little bit, kind of have to get your shoes soaking wet. You want to be careful about the PVC side too. So it does come off. There we go. There's one side, here's the other. Now you want to be very careful about this whole sensor piece. So I'm going to set this off to the side, make sure that no one steps on it. Okay. Here's your cartridges. So there's a couple things to see here. One, these cartridges just pull out. They're pretty heavy, but manageable. And you can see how dirty the water is in there too. So you know that this needed a good cleaning. This is after the winter. So, 
I'm gonna spray these out really good with a hose. You actually can get cartridge cleaner too if your cartridges are super dirty. Um, you'll also notice that your tray will float up. Cartridges sit in the four tray things. That sits on the bottom. It just keeps it from the bottom, you know, so it can basically, doesn't get sucked down to the bottom. Watch your rings that are on here and also the ring along the top. You don't want to damage these rubber rings. So you might want to be very careful about pulling those off because you don't want to damage those. So now I'm going to get a hose and I'm going to spray all these things down and get them super clean, get this all cleaned. And then uh, we're going to put, we'll reassemble it and we'll show you how to do that. Okay, so it's a wet job for sure, but I just used kind of a spray nozzle and got it as clean as I could. You know, these things are all white, so the, you know, the odds of getting them perfectly clean isn't great. Um, they're pretty expensive to replace, so I, I clean mine quite a bit. Um, probably at least twice a year I clean them out. Um, depends what time of season it is. If you're getting a bunch of leaves, you'll see you'll get leaves and stuff in here. Anything that gets pulled in your filter that makes it past your basket will get thrown into here. Um, but I get everything really cleaned out, so I get that. I get my basket really cleaned out as much as I can. And then to top it off, the last thing is I do this little sensor here. You saw what it looked like before. That's really it. So you can go crazy cleaning these. There is cleaning solution for them that might get them a little bit cleaner, you know, because there is a little grime in here yet that you can get, you know, whatever. But at the end of the day, sprayed them off, cleaned them out really pretty good. I'm gonna reassemble this. Okay, you have a couple choices here. You could drain this entire tank if you want. Make sure it gets super duper clean but the water doesn't look too bad in there it's a little dirty but it's not like i'm not really super that concerned about it um you know it's gonna get dirty again so um you could drain it if you want there's a drain at the back of this so you can non crank and it literally will drain right out the back but i really don't want to do that against the side of my house so i'm not going to do that or you could put a hose against it too so the first step is really to put this back in there's only one way to really do this right so you see this sits on the bottom it's flat you see these cylinders where your piece is going to fit, your, your cartridges are going to fit. So you have four of those. You really got to get them kind of centered. So you see I have them centered here. So you don't want to put them against your PVC pipes. You're going to put them around the PVC pipe. So that's really step one. So if you see, if I put one in here, I'll try to lower it so you can see. There you go. And now that piece should really be sitting on the bottom. You might have to do a little bit to manipulate it to make sure that these are all flat once we get done. But I'll show you that as well. You're just going to kind of round robin these and if you get your hand down there you'll feel that uh, you'll feel where each of the cartridges go. It takes a little couple minutes to kind of get it things situated because otherwise the tray on the bottom doesn't sit quite flat. Um, it does work a little bit better if you drain it because it doesn't move around like it would if it's floating in water. So but you can get there. There we go. Okay so you can see I have all my cartridges back in and you can see they're all flat. It's pretty level across the top. And it's right in between the PVC pipe that's on this side and the PVC pipe that's on this side. So it gives it, you want to kind of get them like in like that. Okay. So next thing is to put this back in. So you want to make sure your, oh, your, your seal ring is there, right? I sprayed this all out so you can see I got all the, as much dirt and debris out of that as I could, right? So did that. Now this is going to go when you're going to put this piece it's going to go inside that tube and then each of your cartridges you have to line up with these there you go each of the cartridges you line up and you slowly kind of work them in but don't push too hard because they are this is plastic so you just got to kind of work it in okay and see now we're laying flat on all of them i think this one's a little bit up yet why is that one up a little bit there we go. There we go. So now you see it's flat on the tops of each of these cartridges. So that's parts done. I'm just going to turn this in. I always turn this in because I don't want it to get hit by the by the the boom when I put the lid back on. So now I got that put in. So now that's nice and tight. First thing I always do, check to make sure that the inside of this doesn't have anything on it because you have to go on this rubber seal. So this rubber seal's got to be good. If it's not you'll leak. So you don't want your pool filter leaking. So, all you need to do is kind of get it centered around. You want to kind of lift up and straight down on it like I just did there. So you see how it's pretty flat on the surface all the way around. Okay, 
So that's that. Okay, so then you're gonna put this metal band back on. So this is a tension band. You have to make sure it gets under the lip and the front, so it's on the top of the lip and the bottom of the lip. You're gonna do that. Then, you know, I tighten this, I tighten this up just so it wouldn't fall off a little bit. You're gonna loosen enough to get it to go inside this basically space area here, and then you can hand tighten. So I'm just gonna hand tighten it down here quick. And then you're gonna need your 916 wrench again. And basically you're gonna close this gap. And what that does is it, basi it basically does a compression to it so that uh, it doesn't leak. Then as you're doing this, make sure that you're not, you know, that you're not snagging one of the corners or sides. Make sure it's in between the track, right? Keep cranking until it gets tight. You also don't want to over tighten this, but you don't want to leak in it either because then you'll lose water out of your filter. So I always go to about where it was before, which is about here. So that's where it was before. And then I'll check it for leaks and if it's got any leaks at all, I'll give it a couple more cranks just to give it more, more tightening, but that's what I, I always go to. Then you're going to come back over here. This is the thing that we cleaned out of the, the pump itself. If you give it a couple bumps, you know, yeah, some water's gonna come out of there, don't panic. It's not bad, it actually cl helps clean it out a little bit. Then you gotta make sure this hole is coming from the, the, basically the intake from the pool. So if you get it set in there, it's got a little notch. That little notch tells you you're in. You're gonna put your lid back on and tighten it. So that's that, and you're done with this. Okay, last couple things. Again, make sure your air's tight. If you hear air running, after you turn your filter back on, it's because you didn't tighten this and the air's coming out of that. Make sure you put the basket back in, make sure you tighten that. And then we're gonna quick check for if we have any leaks. So we're at the point now where we can power back on our pool filter. So you're gonna hear it prime and hopefully kick on. So our pool, pool's kicking back on. And then, it's gonna be a little hard to look for leaks on this one, right? But you're basically gonna look along this edge to see if you have any leaks. You'll see streams of a little bit of water if you have a leak there. See, there's a little one here, but let's see. That might've just been from when we put the cartridges back in, right? So sometimes you gotta wipe it down a little bit and then just look around the top lid and see if you have any water leaks. And if you don't, you're good to go. The other thing that's really kind of nice is when you look at this then, when your filter's running, if you, one easy way to tell if your cartridges are filthy is if this thing is at the dirty mark. So if you see that this is at the dirty mark, you want to be at the clean, right, or below. You can see that's where we're at right now because we just cleaned it all out. If you get up to the dirty mark, that means that thing is packed full and your filter's working harder and it should just to keep things rolling through it and it's not gonna get, you're not gonna get a lot of cleaning out of that. So this is the easiest way to tell is that. So that's it. That's how you clean out the cartridges of a, a JD filter system. Uh, these are um, fabric or a like a, a cartridge, like a cloth cartridge. There is sand filters and that sort of thing. I can't tell you what, what to do with that. Um, but this is how you do the cartridges for um, this JD filter. That's it. Subscribe now. Thumbs up. We'll see you next time. Thanks.